Hey there, welcome, welcome to Mark My Words. You can sell your real estate yourself. I know you can because I've done it. I've helped people do it. I've helped investors do it. I've helped investors buy. I've helped investors sell. And I'm just here to share with you, just a regular consumer, a regular old homeowner, that you can do it yourself. You can save thousands of dollars. You can save the commission uh, and do it yourself. And that's what you know, the investors were trying to do is save the money of using an agent and just sell it themselves. And so when I say I helped them, that's because I was part of the buying team. So like I had part ownership of the property. I used the skills that I had uh, that I'm going to share with you on how we sold properties. My name is Mark Valafuco. And so I really want to ask the question, you know, do you really need pictures to sell a house? Does it, does it make that much of a difference when you're selling your own home, your first sale by owner? And I can tell you that buyers will assume the worst if there's no picture or one picture. They assume that there aren't more pictures because the house looks like crap, which may not be true. Um, and we've all seen those those houses on you know Zillow or Realtor.com with one picture and you're wondering, hey, you know, Maybe there's more pictures or you've seen the opposite where there's 20 pictures and they all look terrible, right? Like you see the shot of the bathroom with the toilet up and clothes hanging in the, in the, in the shower or the kitchen destroyed, or sometimes there's even people in the pictures, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like nobody really cared and they just snapped those photos and, and, <laughs> If that were the case, yeah, I think uh, one photo is better than, 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 than confirming somebody's uncertainty and then showing them that this house is a piece of crap. So what, what happens is when you only have one picture of the property, it creates doubt and uncertainty in the buyer's mind. And that uncertainty will cost you money as the homeowner. And so, you know, the better pictures you have showing the property and the features um, will eliminate a lot of looky-loos. It'll eliminate people, well, let me just come take a look at it or you know, I'll, I'll be there and, and, and see the property versus having you know, 25 to 50 really good photos of your property. That's gonna increase the quality of the buyers walking through that they, they're more likely to buy your property. So you actually need less showings is what we found in the real estate world is that if you had really good photos uh, you had less showings because people could just see the property and realize, oh no, I don't want that or whatever. And and we could actually sell the property with less showings by more of the better photos we had at really high prices compared to uh, other homes that sold in a neighborhood in the marketplace. And so you really do want 25 to 50 uh, photos of your, of your house. That's really the, the sweet spot for most people. Anything more than that, it's probably overkill. I mean, unless we're talking about, you know, three to ten million dollar mansions with pretty cool guest house and pool houses and upstairs, you know, pool area. So you might want more than fifty, but for your regular three bedroom, two bath house, four bath, uh, four bedroom house, I think uh, twenty five to fifty photos is 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 gonna do perfectly for you. Um, and so, you know, I, I know this is true, what I'm saying, because home builders are the absolute perfect model for what you want to try to emulate as, as a homeowner. You know, the, the home builder doesn't care about selling the neighbor's house. They're not like agents where they're trying to like promote themselves. They just want to sell freaking homes. And so the home builder will spend tens of thousands of dollars in, in creating the correct color schemes, the correct staging, the correct angles for furniture, to set up the photo shoot and then have people eventually walk through those models. But initially it's, it's the photo shoot that goes online, that catches people's eye, that then gets them down to see the model homes. And so you can actually do that yourself. And we're talking about between 200 and $500 that you can get these photos done professionally. And that includes photos and Matterport. And Matterport is like a 3D rendering of your home that people are able to move around, not some, some, you know, uh, 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 flip video flip. Like, no, no, no. Like this is, this is actually a 3D model of your house that people can go into 
and move from room to room as if they're standing there and then looking all around the, uh, your house, which is really cool. Buyers really like that, that feature. And so you can absolutely do this yourself. I think the most amount of money you will spend is on photos when selling your home yourself. There, there are places that you can get on the MLS. You don't want to use uh, uh, Zillow or Realtor.com or any of these for sub owner sites to sell your property. They, they just don't give it enough buyer reach. You do want to work with agents to some degree because they, you know, each each agent is really in your area. It's going to be working with two or three motivated buyers, and so you you do want to leverage that and to your advantage. There there are statistics that that homes on the MLS sell for more than what's on the uh, open market, like for sub owners, and that's because of the investors that come in and. and and try to negotiate one-on-one -on -one with homeowners and they just, you know, think about it. Professional investor versus somebody selling their house for the first time and there's no competition. Who do you think wins that negotiation? Well, it's the investor every time. And um, But when you put on the MLS and you do some things correctly, you don't necessarily put your phone number on the MLS because you get a bunch of people to call you that may not want to buy the house and the property. Uh, you can do some things to to get your property out there and and really expose it to the buying marketplace that does bring in all the buyers and even the ones that are working with other agents will want to go see your property. And then with the commission you offer, you know, those buyers agents will, will have to accept it. Um, whether we're talking 500 bucks, 1%, 2%, you know, you're gonna have to figure that out and 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 make that decision but but you know when there's commissions of let's say you know thirty thousand dollars at stake um you know you can afford to to spend thousand bucks and, and really drive traffic to your property just like every agent in the world can through marketing the mls and photos and and creating that welcoming atmosphere to other agents and to the buyers that are working with that's that's really how you win and do it yourself. I've got some other videos talking about working with investors and why I don't advocate that as a as a homeowner, why you wouldn't want to go directly to an investor. I, I don't think that your best interest um, is that is in the mind of that buyer because they need to buy your property at a certain price, where when you go on the MLS, you're getting the feedback from the entire marketing buying community. And those those agents and buyers working against each other will ultimately drive the price up your property. And so photos have a huge impact on that. Photos are, are the number one thing that drives traffic to your, to your property. Um, and it doesn't come through a property website. It's not going to come through your Zillow listing. It's the MLS because the MLS goes to a thousand other websites, like all the websites. So every, Every real estate website pulls from the multiple listing service, which is the MLS, and that's what you want. And you can get that for three to five hundred dollars. Uh, I've seen less actually. You can get MLS access where you do it all yourself. You have self representation. The company is just going to put your property on the market, and you're going to be the one that answers the questions. And you could always hire uh, a real estate attorney, right? Like put them on retainer couple hundred bucks, they answer your questions, might review your contract, call an escrow company, call a title company. I, I already talked about those things in my videos where you can get expert help from title companies and escrow companies and real estate attorneys before ever going on the market. And that way you should be as confident as any agent because you know what agents do when they have questions? They ask their broker and then the broker talks to the corporate attorney, real estate attorney, and the agent goes and talks to the escrow company which helps answer questions. These escrow officers are licensed and they'll be happy to help you and talk to you. So that's a great resource for you. Not me as your resource. I'm happy to answer questions, but I want to give you the tools in your town to, to get the answers that you need. And if there's not an escrow officer because you're not in the escrow state, there are closing attorneys uh, and title companies that do the closings and they will also be happy to, to help you answer questions because ultimately you're going to be using them to close the sale. And so they know that and you'll go there as the first sale by owner. Um, so what's my pitch? Like what's the reason for doing all these videos is 
every once in a while I'll come across somebody who just doesn't have enough equity to sell in the open market or they've tried to sell in the open market and they can't get the price that they want, that they feel their property is. Uh, I pay full market value uh, for properties and I don't charge a commission and I don't charge for closing costs. I pay all those things. I do all that. Um, I do a delayed cash sale. So it means it might take me a couple years to completely cash you out. Uh, but I do close on the property pretty quickly. Um, you don't ever have to worry about payments or taxes or maintenance or renters or anything like that ever again. So if you're leaving the state or whatever, wherever you live, you're leaving the state and you don't want two payments, I can jump in, figure out what the property is worth. We'll come to an agreement on, on price. We'll come to an agreement on, a, on, on the ongoing payments until I completely cash you out. And, you know, typically I'm taking over payments that you're already making. And, and you're able to move on with your life and able to use that note to buy your next place or, you know, it basically comes off your credit because you've got a note in place that somebody has bought your property. So that's what I'm looking for in this world. It's not a lot of people that need that. Um, this pitch always comes at the end so that I can give value up front. What I'm saying is 15 plus years of real estate experience. And so when I talk about photos or the process or the MLS or buyers or negotiations or investors, um, this is all, you know, me in the trenches working for 15 years, feeding myself and my family and my home on, on these strategies that worked. And I've paid thousands of dollars for these strategies. So I know they will work for you. If you have questions, you can put them in the chat below. Uh, you can find my email address. Um, if you look me up online, you can find me and, and message me. I don't have any you know, appointment schedule for you to book or anything like that. But if I did have uh, um, enough people that did want to spend some time on the phone, you know, we could figure out a payment structure for that. But you using the local, you know, uh, escrow companies, title companies, closing attorneys, they're going to be able to answer all your questions. Um, there's some clauses that I believe I'm an expert in. You'll get into like contingencies and clauses that may be a little tricky for you. But I do think the escrow companies can help you and, and uh, title companies and closing attorneys can definitely help you understand what those, those clauses are and those contingencies. My name is Mark. You can mark my words. You can sell it yourself. Any questions, please do uh, leave a comment and I will get back to you. Have a great one.